Hi, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, I'm Lisa Seminara. I am the ranking senator on human services. Uh, I first want to thank uh, Rep. Cavros de Gras and Senator Martin for their leading um, this bipartisan effort to raise awareness about food insecurity. I also wanted to take, thank Jason and his team for their ongoing efforts and for those who donate and serve our food banks. Um, as Larry mentioned earlier, I don't have to repeat it. There are a mix of residents at this point who are forced to use all our food banks. Our food and our families are struggling to make ends meet, and the cost of living is skyrocketing. From paying for childcare, housing, heating, to filling up the at the pump or transportation, Paying for basic needs doesn't leave enough money for food which has sharply risen. Groceries at this point cost 33.5% more than they were at the start of the pandemic. More than one third. Think about that. Think about the cost and how it's affecting everyone. People are really struggling to stay within their budget, but for some, there's just not enough food to feed their families. So we thank Feeding America, a national network of more than 200 food banks and more than 60,000 partners, agencies, and food pantries, and the meal programs for highlighting this map, the Meal Gap Study. And we gather today to pledge continued advocacy funding for the Connecticut Nutritional Assistance Program. Because even in the smallest of ways, we all can pay a, we all can play a key role in fighting food insecurity in all our communities. And we will do it together and we will do it in a bipartisan fashion. Thank you. I would just like to introduce one of our volunteers and customers, um, Emil Danilov. 